This Rhodes University lab has been converted into a manufacturing plant to help fight the coronavirus. With recycled containers and raw materials donated to the university, the pharmaceutics department is able to make sanitizer that is safe to use. I'm following the WHO guide to sanitizer production for pharmacies. We're a faculty of pharmacy. We are accredited to offer a degree in pharmacy. So I'm using that, the facilities we have here to, to create the space to manufacture the 900 liters a day when we have raw materials. Professor Walker is working here with his students and they're contributing their time and effort for free. I think a big part of being a pharmacist is just community service on top of everything else. So this is a good way to serve the community that we're in and you know, there isn't really much else to do <laughs> right now. Their small operation could potentially save the government millions of rands. Well, hypothetically, 900 litres a day indefinitely, provided we have raw materials. That's the key. We are desperately short of ethanol, desperately short of glycerol and hydrogen peroxide, and finally, packaging. We need packaging. We need to re uh, we're using recycled containers at the moment. The university says there's a lot of potential for this collaboration, which has already reached all municipalities in the province. It's one of the higher purposes of our university to be an institution that responds to the challenges that face our society and particularly our Eastern Cape uh, community. Some municipalities in the Eastern Cape are paying more than 100 rand for 500 milliliters of sanitizer. This operation is supplying more than 10 times that amount at no cost to the state. Govan Whittles, Makanda.